On the last part, you learned how to get the actor details. On this part, you'll learn how to update an actor by first adding the controller action result, and then you'll also add the update view. The update functionality is kind of similar to the create functionality because it has two steps. The first step is to just display the details of the actor, and the second step is to be able to handle a post request which will be used to update the actor details. So for that, in the actors controller, I'll copy what I have already created for the create functionality. So I'll select the first create and then HTTP post create, so control C. And then just after the details, I'll paste these two action results. Let us update the name of the first one, which is going to be edit. And the edit action result will take a parameter of type integer named ID. Then down here, we are going to get the actor details. So I'll just copy from the details down here. So we have the details. And then if the details is null, we're just going to return the empty view or we can rename this view to be not found. So let us also change the value up here to be not found. And if we have the actor details, we are going to return them to the edit view. So let us pass the actor details as a parameter. We see that we have a typo and that's right because in here we are just going to change this one to task. So basically async task of our action result. And now you can see that the errors are gone. Then down here, let us also update this one to be edit. But the edit action result in here will have an additional parameter. So we are going to basically pass as a parameter from the URL the actor ID. And then we are going to check the actor ID against the updated actor value. So in here in the bind, we need to also add the ID. Now, if you want, since we have already defined all the properties of the actor, you can just remove the bind and it will work the same way. Now down here, we are going to first check for the model state. So if the model state is not valid, then we are just going to return the view with the actor data and also the model state errors. Otherwise, we are going to update the actor. So update, the first parameter is going to be the ID and the second parameter is going to be the actor. Now let us go to the update method. So solution explorer, then in here we have the iActors service. Let us change in here the return type to be a task actor. And then update the name to be update async. Save the changes. Then let us also go to the actors service. And you scroll down. We have the update. Let us change the update to be update async. Return type async and then task actor. Then down here, we are going to first get the actor underscore context dot update and then pass as a parameter the new actor. Then we are going to await the context dot save changes async and then at the end, just return the new actor. Let us save the change in here and go back to the actors controller. And then in here, instead of using the update, we're going to use the update async. And after the actor has been updated, we are going to be redirected to the action index. So I'll just put a breakpoint in here. Now let us go and create the edit view. So let us go to the solution explorer. And then in here, copy the create. So control C, then control V. I'll change the name to be edit and then press enter. Let us go inside this view and then type in here update actor. This is going to be update actor. Then down here we are going to leave everything as it is, but just down here we are going to have the show all, which is going to just redirect us to the index action. 
and the value is going to be now in here update the type will be submit and also change the form asp action to be edit now let us save all the changes and run the application so we see that the app ran successfully let us just go to management and then actors then yeah, i'll just click the edit button we can see that we are redirected to the edit then slash one let us update the full name to actor dash update it and then click update we see that we reached the breakpoint so we have the id one and in the actor we also have the id one now just remove the breakpoint and click the continue button and now you can see that we have the actor 5 updated let us edit one more time i'll just remove the updated i'll change the actor 5 jpeg to be actor 2 jpeg so now the profile picture is updated i'll remove the biography and then click update we can see that the biography is required so i'll just use the i'm a web developer and then click update and now you can see that we have the actor 5 the profile picture is updated and the biography is updated as well now if you go to the details you can also click the edit button in here and now you can see that you are redirected to the edit and then stash the actor id